Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your Charles, and welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic debates, entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things and how we see them. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Ben Simmons. I don't know what I'm going to say, but you definitely want to stick around for what I got to say. So make sure you go and like the video and subscribe to the channel. Now, I have been one of the most vocal critics of Ben Simmons. I have always said, and I will continue to say, that Ben Simmons is out there wasting everyone's time. Whenever I say this, some people feel a type of way. Oh, how can you say that about this guy? This and this and this and this and this and this and this. I could care less. That is my opinion, and I'm willing to defend it, and I have the evidence to defend it. When you're in the results business, the last thing people want to hear is excuses. The NBA is all about results. Period. End of story. And if you don't produce, it will show. And the fact of the matter is this. Ben Simmons has not been improving his basketball game over the last few years. Period. End of story. There is no other way to say it. The only people defending Ben Simmons are those that are content with him plateauing. It's like, well, he doesn't have to shoot. If you think about it, I mean, yeah, I know it's the NBA where that's really what you're supposed to be able to do, but he doesn't really have to do it because he can do X, Y, and Z. And then somebody goes, but what about all these other guys that couldn't shoot that didn't prove it? Well, that's them. That's, that's, that's them. They, you, they have no answer. They have no answer for you. And the fact of the matter is, it is getting to the point where Ben Simmons himself is beginning to realize that, wait a minute, I'm beginning to run out of excuses with all the expectations that are being heaped on the Brooklyn Nets this season. One would think, one would think that Ben Simmons would come out after not pay, playing basketball for the last year and show us or not forget about us, show his team all of the work he has put in to his basketball game. That's what one would expect. But in fact, he's doing the, 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 the absolute opposite. And we got the stats to show you. And we got the audio to prove it to you of Ben Simmons himself saying this. But before we get into that, this video is brought to you by sponsor Aura, who's also the official sponsor of the T-Wolves. So what I want to do is here, I want to look at some of the game stats. Uh, in the last few games that he's played, uh, what is it, in preseason competition, just to crystallize my point that I'm making here. Ben Simmons, I believe this was uh, blah, 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 against the, yeah, the Philadelphia 76ers in Brooklyn. In that game, he played what? Da, 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 20 minutes, 19 minutes. He took sh six shots, I, I, of course, it attempted zero threes, um, shot 0% from the free throw line, 0%. And um, and then uh, that was pretty much it for rebound. So some people say, okay, that's his first game. You know, allow him to get into. Okay, fine. Second game. Last night, what happened? The Brooklyn Nets played against the Miami Heat. And what happened? They got the doors blown off of them. They got the doors blown off of them. What, what, was, the, what, was, the, what was the final score in that game? It, it was some absurd number. What was the final score? Let me see. It was, uh, what, what, what the hell? 109 to 80. They lost by damn near 30 points, 29 points. They got they got the door. Now, someone said, well, it's the preseason. It's totally fine. Okay, no problem. No problem. We're not going to make a big deal out of it. In that game, what did he do? Ben Simmons played. Da, 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 what did he play? How many minutes did this guy play? He played 25 minutes. And in 25 minutes, he took three shots. Zero threes, attempted zero free throws. At the end of the game... He himself said three shots is not enough. But for those of you who don't believe me, take a listen to Ben Simmons right here basically explaining or basically saying that three shots is not enough. Take a listen to him here. Yeah, it's another thing, you know, offensively, when we're trying to get through our sets and, and, and working out, you know, offensive, you know, schemes or whatever it is, um, there's got to be a balance. And I think, you know, looking at it now is it took, it was three shots, which is definitely not enough. Um, but obviously, you know, offensively, you know, I want to get the post more, get some more touches down low, be more aggressive, uh, get to the rim, get to the free throw line, uh, which I didn't do tonight. But um, there's a lot of things, you know, that we can look at. Um, this is game two. I played 25 minutes, yeah, so I had last game 12 minutes, 18 minutes, something like that. So 
in a year. I'm coming back. Give me some time. <laughs> Let's get into the basketball aspect of this. For the people that are up there defending this, this nonsense, let's get into the back. Y'all going to pay for defending this. If you're rooting for the Nets and you're supporting this from back, you are going to pay the price later in the season. Let's get into it here. If you are a basketball player on the court, you will need to be a scoring threat. And in the playoffs... Teams are going to take away all of your strengths and force you towards what? Your weaknesses. And in the case of the Brooklyn Nets, they are going to take away. You can book it. They are going to take away either Kevin Durant or Kyrie Irving. And you will need a second scoring option. Let's say it in another way. If they try to take away either Kevin Durant, or Kyrie Irving, but you had a third scoring threat, it would be very difficult for them to do it. But if you only have two, I can assure you they can take away one. Go listen to the game plan of the Detroit Pistons when Chauncey Billups went on all the Smoke podcasts and he explained their defensive game plan to stop Shaq and Kobe. What he essentially said was, we decided we were going to take away Kobe from the series. We're going to let Shaq go off and it will guard everybody else. They took away one of them. In the case, if you have three, then it becomes a lot more difficult. And they will force, if they have any sense, they will force Ben Simmons to be a scorer. And that is where all of the excuses for his lack of development will come back to bite you in the you know what. It is simple. They are going to pay the price for this later. It's that simple. It is literally that simple. Ben Simmons has to be perceived, perceived at, uh, perceived as at least a threat. Why? Go back and look at the last dance docuseries. What did uh, Scottie Pippen say about that game? So he said, I was, ha I had no intentions of shooting or, or scoring that game. I was a decoy. Well, how the hell can you be a decoy if you're not viewed as a threat? You cannot be a decoy if you're not viewed as a threat. They'll just sag off of you. And you'd be basically playing five on four. What they're going to do to the Brooklyn Nets, they will not be able to do it to other teams like the Golden State Warriors. You can't do that to the Golden State Warriors. You can't. You can't do that to the Clippers. If you try to do that to the Clippers and key in on Kawhi or Paul, they will shoot you out of the gym. Because they have too many snipers on that team. Way too many. You can't do that to teams like that. But in the case of the Brooklyn Nets, you're either going to be lying, relying on Joe Harris. I don't know if Seth Curry's still there. I'm not sure. Patty Mills and these guys who are easier to take away, take away because of their size and all of those different things, right? So to me, if Ben Simmons does not improve his game, the Brooklyn Nets are going to pay for it period in the story i don't understand the argument of oh well he doesn't really need to shoot now yeah he does in this particular nba you do you just have to you just have to so to me um you know his comments don't really surprise me it's just more of a more of what i already knew about ben simmons so these are my thoughts and opinions whatever you guys think uh leave it in the comment section we we'll catch you on the next episode peace